If you're lucky enough to get your NES powered up and working again, what game would you play? Mario Brothers, Zelda? Do you think you could make music from the sounds of the game? Our guest today, No Sleep, not only makes music, he helped birth a musical genre known as chiptunes. Chiptunes is the art of producing music from aging Game Boys, Nintendos, and other consoles, and no one does it better than this international superstar, No Sleep. His awe-inspiring hypnotic tracks send crowds rocking from Rio to Copenhagen. But before we take that interdimensional plunge, let's jump into some hot topics in the gaming scene. What's up guys, this is a download where we give you the updates on what's going on in gaming. OnePlus has dropped their new gaming triggers for Android and iOS phones that are now available in India. They're interchangeable and can be applied any way you prefer to play. Apex Legend Mobile is currently in beta and has been made available to a few thousand players in India and the Philippines. Keep in mind that it isn't a port of Apex Legends, but rather instead a new version for just smartphones. So think Wild Rift is to League of Legends. That would probably help. The Last of Us remake is coming for PlayStation 5. According to Bloomberg, some developers inside Sony aren't happy with how it came together or what it means for PlayStation's vaunted first party development going forward. Formula One announced plans for the F1 esports series, women's wildcard, and female only qualification route to the Pro Exhibition. The Pro Exhibition serves as a pool of scouted talent for the F1 teams to add to their roster for the 2021 Pro Pro Championship, which starts later this year. Have you ever been a part of a virtual sleepover? Well, that's what some are calling this new trend of watching people sleep on Twitch. Sort of a snooze fest if you ask me. According to Stream Elements and Rainmaker.gg that calculate platform statistics, viewers on Twitch watched over 2 million hours of sleeping streams in March. I am absolutely in the wrong business. What am I doing here? I need to go sleep. No sleep blends familiar with the extraordinary to blow your face off with music built from aging consumer electronics like the ones you see in front of me, but his shows are exhilarating and inspiring, leaving you an elusive feeling that you want to recapture over and over again. I am so excited to have this intergalactic genius on this show. No sleep, welcome to The Power. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Was there any like video game soundtrack that inspired you to make music or this was just kind of like, you were like, I just want to make my own. The Streets of Rage games, um, I think this the, the music in those was particularly, uh, you know, made an impact. And then along with that, I think um, some of the arcade um, shooter, shoot 'em ups, um, games like Dodon Patchy, Daiyuju, and Ketsui, um, that were, I think both of those soundtracks were composed by Manabu Namiki. He, his stuff is just amazing, just in terms of the energy and the sort of tension that it builds. Now, for people that are watching this for the first time and they're like, we're like just talking about chiptunes because we know chiptunes, but for people yeah. who have no idea what even, what is chip? What is chip music? What is chip tunes? Yeah. And how do you think you've expanded that art, form, that art form from like then and now? In the way that I make it, it is using uh, old video game hardware or old computers and the sound chips that were in those uh, machines. So what we're doing is essentially saying a Game Boy is not just for, for playing video games. A Game Boy is a computer that can run any software you want on it. And what we're doing is running audio software and software to synthesize and sample um, sounds and then create original compositions with that. So some of your favorite console preferences are like the Famicom, NES, the Game Boy. Why these Nintendo products? Is there some of allegiance to it or have you, did you grow up with them? The Nintendo devices have like a, a very characteristic sound to them. And I think that there's something, there was something exciting about working with that sound palette and that set of limitations and sort of seeing how far you could push it. Now, we're at part of the interview where we're gonna play a little game, No Sleep. Are you ready for this? Sure. All right, we're gonna play a game. It's called Fact or Fiction. I'm gonna say a okay. statement, and you have to tell me whether it is a fact or it is a fiction. You ready to play? Okay, sure. All right, the statement is, Grand Theft Auto was supposed to be a tamed racing game. Is that fact or fiction? I'm gonna guess fiction. Well, it is fact, actually. There, okay. During a test run, a glitch made the police cars attack 
the player. So it was so well received that the developers actually scraped the original concept and they rebuilt the, rebuilt the game around the high speed oh, police nice. chase. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Nosley, for tuning in and showing up to the power up. I wish you the best of luck in 2021. Thanks so much. Next time you see a Game Boy at a garage sale or happen to come across a Nintendo 64 at the flea market, don't just look at it and think of the games you can play. Imagine the Sonic capabilities. Remember, one woman's garbage is definitely another woman's treasure. I'll see you on the next time on The Power Up. Happy trails!